So this is just a really quick video, just in case I don't get time to go through it in class. This is a, a couple of exam questions about primates, hominoids, and hominins. So this question here says the skeletal structures of two extinct members of the hominin family tree, Australopithecus africanus and Homo neanderthalensis, are shown below. So here is Australopithecus on the left, and here is Homo neanderthalensis on the right. Uh, so these are all order primate, superfamily hominoida, uh, and the tribe is hominin. Yeah, or essentially these make these hominids. All, both of these are hominids. So then the question asks you to state a feature shared by all primates. Without looking, can you think of the thing that all primates have? Yeah, so this is something that a monkey has to have and a human. Yeah, a monkey and a human. Whoa, hopefully we were thinking about this guy here. Yeah. You could have said biggest one there is we both have opposable thumbs. Yeah? In addition to that, we both have binocular vision, we have social structure, we have enlarged brains, we have a poor sense of smell, we have long gestation. But the number one thing I want you to talk about when you're talking about primates, these guys. Um, the next question that I have to go through with you is this one over here. So it says, which of the following characteristics are shared by both hominoids and hominins? So you could be looking at your, um, Venn diagram if you want. So do they both have color vision? Are they omnivorous? Well, I guess, yes, we're omnivorous. So it means that's reasonable. Um, do they have nails? Yes. Do they have opposable thumbs? Yes. Do they both have simple tool use? Maybe, let's just check. And are they living in groups? Yes. Um, so they don't have poor vision. They don't have well-developed peripheral vision. So we're kind of down to this next one here. So we're saying simple tool use, definitely in humans, but what about um, chimpanzees and gorillas? Do they have simple tool use? So we can think about that, uh, maybe from the actions of things that we've seen at the zoo. Um, and so we've gone color vision here. The carnivorous isn't great. A highly developed sense of smell is also good. Forward facing eyes, and then this solitary living. So I say that's a definite no. So this is a really good example of a multiple choice question where it's a best fit scenario, yeah? And obviously the simple tool use, we know, yes, it's in hominins, but did you know that also chimpanzees, yeah? Also chimpanzees have this ability to use simple tools. Pretty cool. Um, the last one here, this is a really quite a difficult question that you can see where we are with question 38 here out of 40. So it's going to be a more difficult multiple choice question. Research has shown that in a number of genes, the sequence of nucleotides is unique to humans and is not found in chimpanzees. Okay, so these, we're saying that these are only in humans and not in chimpanzees. So we've got gene with sequence unique to humans. It is and necessary for the development of the cerebral cortex. So this will allow formation of words by the mouth. Yeah, these are for the um, humans. We can digest starch. How cool is that? Yeah, but, but other hominoids cannot. Yeah, chimps can't do that. Um, we have, there's something about brain size here. We can digest milk sugar in adulthood. Yeah, so if you give milk to an adult, we can break down the lactose, particularly those with um, European heritage. We seem to have a better lactase ability. We have this better ability to break down lactose, which is pretty cool. Um, and also there's something that drives activity gene in the wrist and thumb during development. It's what gives us this kind of increased dexterity. So I've gone through these features. Let's just check out here. Um, so using the information in the table, is it reasonable to conclude that humans can digest milk sugar only in infancy? This just said that we can digest it in adulthood. So that one's wrong. Um, we have less opposable thumbs than chimpanzees. So that last gene, that HAR2, yeah, it says that we're very dexterous. So that one's not gonna be that. Uh, humans can walk on two feet in an upright position. I mean, we can, but is there any information in the table to suggest this? So this one here had LCT. This one here, hang on guys, sorry. 
This second, so B, A linked to LCT, B linked to HAR2. Now we know that humans can walk upright on two feet, but is there anything in that table that refers to it? Hmm. So we'll just do a question mark there for now. And we are able to process and remember more complex information than chimpanzees. So what does that link me to? Active brain, that links me to HAR1. So we are definitely able to do that. There is no gene here that talks about bipedalism. So therefore, using the information in the table, the answer must be D. All right, and so that's the end of just a couple of questions on primates.